Hey guys, Bob Pierce from FightFast.com and TRS Direct. We're bringing you a self-defense technique this week from the multi-talented Marine veteran Tommy DeLalo. Tommy's approach involves a wicked combination of both brutality and simplicity. So this week's tip is right here, for, straight from him to you. Let's check it out. Just to get back into a little bit of the knife aspect of things. If, if he's coming saying, give me, give me your wallet, give me your wallet, I'm going in now here, I, I'm getting my wallet, can I get my wallet? Now, he doesn't know that I'm getting a, a set of keys. But again, this requires training. This is not something you want to go, I learned this from the videotape, and now I'm going to use it. No, it needs practice. Have somebody stand there, you go, I'm going for my wallet right now, sir, please, please. What I'm doing is setting up to parry that knife. But I have the set of keys. So what am I doing with the keys? I'm actually going to go forward and pierce. Now, I don't care about that, that knife becomes void again. Why? Because this just pierced into his throat. Soft tissue with metal. So technically, I, sh I, I shanked him first, or her. Okay? I'm not, and I just want to be mindful of this. It can be done with the cell phone as well. I pull out the cell phone. He has a knife right there. He's like, give me your wallet. If you wanted to kill me, you would have done it already, right? So what I do is parry it and immediately jam this into and lodge it into his throat. Immediately. And I don't stop until that knife just decides to drop. Then it's over. I could stop, maybe start using my punch tactics. I then kick the knife away, use a knee, whatever it takes. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Once he or she is out, pick it up by the edge and take it to the police department. The lipstick, the same exact thing will apply. Um, you will pierce to the throat, but again, making sure that it's not just like loose, it's rigid. Everything's rigid, going piercing through the neck. You want to go for those vitals, take away his vision, take away his breathing, and that's the way to get through using improvised weapons. Now, improvised weapons can be anything. Be a can, a coke, uh, a bottle, um, a stick, a trash can. It all depends. I, I can't go through thousands of objects. But start playing around with things at home. See what you can get um, as a, an effective tool um, into your briefcase that you can utilize. Look in your briefcase, look in your wallet, look in your uh, purse. What can you have on the ready just in case? Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that tip. I invite you to subscribe, like, share, and comment on the video that you've just seen. As always, take a moment and subscribe to our blog as well because then you'll be able to get a lot of these videos a full week before they show up here on our YouTube channel. As always, be safe, be aware, and don't let the arts in martial arts confuse your common sense and good instincts.